So let's face it, hiking is a pastime that has incredibly exciting moments, right next to incredibly boring ones. Sometimes you'll be walking up a mountain edge or a ridge line and you'll be surrounded by beautiful views and other times you'll be trudging through the mud, heading through a tree tunnel and your spirits will be low and you'll be asking yourself, why am I here? Why have I chosen to do this? How is this fun? Which is why it is absolutely essential that for every hike I go on, I'm geared up with plenty of additional distractions so that when those hard or boring moments hit. I have everything I could possibly need to keep my brain occupied and positive. And so now that I've solo hiked over 600 miles, having done 20 plus day hikes, three through hikes and a few mountain climbs, some big, some small, I feel qualified enough to give you some tips and tricks on how to best stay distracted in those boring or painful moments on a hike. So yeah, let's get into it. Firstly, let's just get this out of the way. I want to talk about the mindset. When boredom strikes, start by reminding yourself what you're out here to escape from. Picture all the noise of everyday life. Imagine the stack of work that you have at your desk at home and think of how unhappy you were last Saturday when you spent the day hungover instead of hiking. And now try to bring yourself back to the present and really remind yourself to appreciate where you are, who you're with and what you're doing. And try to remind yourself of how much peace and joy is going to bring you. All right, now down to the real practical advice. So my first secret weapon to tackle boredom in a hike is Audible. So I personally absolutely love reading. Biographies, real life adventures, fantasy and science fiction are my favorite genres. But obviously you can't read and walk at the same time, which is why I am absolutely in love with Audible. I pay £7.99 a month, which gives me one credit a month to spend on a book of my choice. But the best part about this specific membership is that you get access to a huge library of books that Audible lets you listen to at absolutely no extra cost. There are a ton of great stories on this catalogue. While on my recent London to Birmingham Canal Walk, I started and finished listening to the original Planet of the Apes book. And now I'm working my way through a World War II book called My Private War. And as I said, I didn't have to pay absolutely anything for these titles. They come with your membership and they are both brilliantly written and expertly performed. There's loads of historic and modern day classics on there, such as War and Peace, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and The Midnight Library. And again, these are all for free with the monthly membership. Furthermore, through my monthly credits that my membership pays for, I have purchased the Harry Potter series, which is read by Stephen Fry. I have purchased the Lord of the Rings series, which is read by Andy Serkis. And all of these are absolutely amazing. If you're a reader like me, then this is a massive asset to hiking. You can immerse yourself in your favorite pastime and get lost in different universes as you work your way through the tricky part of the trail. But equally, Audible is also perfect for non-readers. You don't have to do any work at all. There is no actual reading. You can just hit play and have a story expertly read to you. And trust me, it will occupy your brain for hours on it. But maybe best of all, you can actually get a month of Audible and your first book for free. And you can keep that book forever. But you can only do this if you sign up with my link down below. This isn't a sponsored video, but I am technically an Amazon affiliate. So by using the link down below, you will be supporting my channel. And more importantly, you will be enabling my my audiobook addiction. But yeah, trust me, I'm not just saying it because of that. I am genuinely a huge fan of Audible. I will show you my collection on screen now. I spent a couple of hundred pounds with them already. It's it's just been brilliant and it's made all of my hikes way more fun, way more enjoyable. And also top tip, if we look at Audible's official frequently asked question page, it says, and I'm quoting here, I'm quoting this, it says, there is no limit to the amount of computers and all devices you can use your Audible account with, which means I know for a fact that you can share one account across several phones. So yeah, there's a top tip for you. Anyways, Audible is definitely my key strategy to staying occupied on a hike, but I have many, many more. So the next one is Spotify Music. My recommendation would be to download something new. Download and listen to big playlists from genres that you would never have touched before. For instance, try listening to Hans Zimmer's entire music collection. He's the guy that wrote the music for Batman, Interstellar, The Unforgivable that's just come out on Netflix recently. He has got an incredible backlog of work. And, you know, I don't think that most people have listened to his entire body of work. So when you're out on a hike, why don't you try doing something like that? Search in on your favorite films on Spotify, find the composer who made the soundtrack to your favorite film and dive in at the deep end and listen to their entire body of work. That's a great way to distract your mind and to just try something completely different. I also have recently started to listen to playlists that are built around specific instruments. For instance, there's a playlist called Mellow Cello, which is very atmospheric and beautiful when you are deep in the wilderness or in the shadow of a mountain. I can't believe I wrote in the shadow of a mountain. Cool, so continuing down the Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music tangent, 
brilliant. My next key way of keeping yourself occupied while on a hike is podcast. If you haven't heard of podcast by now, then I assume you're from Mars or you've just come back from a distant planet because they have completely taken over the world. Podcasts are absolutely excellent for killing time while on a hike. They often teach you things, they make you laugh, they can make you cry, they can make you smile. They are just a great way to distract yourself and to fill up some time while you're, uh, you know, knee deep in mud or trying to get through a rainy patch. Podcasts are extremely entertaining and are my absolute best friends when I'm out in the wilderness. My favorites are the Adventure Podcast, Team Deacons, Impulsive, the Joe Rogan Experience, and a one that hasn't uploaded in a while called Sin Chill. And yeah, I really enjoy all of their stuff. Team Deacons is, is really interesting too. That's Roger Deacons. He's the guy who was the cinematographer behind the Shawshank Redemptions among pretty much every famous film you've ever heard of. He's He was the, the DOP. Uh, but yeah, no, there's loads and loads of podcasts out there and I will leave a list to my favorites in the description down below. But I would just recommend downloading a few episodes of someone you haven't listened to before and just getting stuck in alternate perspectives and in-depth conversations are unmatched in terms of entertainment and you know educational purpose so and you know on top of that they do really fill in the time and yeah really help me get through some tough periods oh yeah and podcast tip number two what I've also recently started doing is searching up key terms that I'm interested in so for instance the other day I searched in the wild west on Spotify uh, and I found a whole playlist dedicated to the outlaws of the wild west by Paracast it was awesome I've also recently found out that if you're a big film fan then you can often type in the name of a film into Spotify and you'll find that they have done one-off podcast series all around the film and the cast and the crew so for instance they did this for James Bond's No Time to Die and I also found that film that Sheila Booth did called Honey Boy and they did you know nearly 10 episodes on both of those films talking to the various cast and crew the directors the actors it was really brilliant so yeah if you're looking for more podcasts try typing in your favorite film because you'll find a catalog of people who have all made podcast episodes around your favorite subject and you might well find a new favorite podcast by doing it so my final tip is to create something so I know I'm breaking the fourth wall a bit by saying this but maybe try and make a film you don't have to post it anywhere and you don't have to show it to anyone if you don't want to but why not set yourself a target and get some footage together so that you can edit together a nice one minute video that captures your experience and enables you to be able to remember it forever you don't have to be a youtuber or a videographer to use a camera film some bits on your iPhone find a nice tune that you like throw the clips together in iMovie and export it out and send it to your friends email it to your buddies and show them how much fun it it is to go on a hike in your local area or wherever you went and use it to convince others to join you on your next adventure. Obviously, with the number of videos I have made documenting my hikes, it's clear that I really enjoy this process of filmmaking and I would say that it occupies a massive part of my brain while I'm out hiking on the trail and it keeps me enjoying the experience throughout. So yeah, I would really recommend that you do that and just have an experiment with photography or filmmaking and just get a bit creative on these adventures because it really does occupy your brain when you're bored. And also, it's just really fun and rewarding. People enjoy homemade movies and as long as you cut it down short that's the key thing don't make an hour and a half long film no one wants to watch that just cut down a nice short to the point one minute video put it on your instagram send it to a few of your friends it will undoubtedly bring them a smile and i keep saying it but it might convince them to come and join you on your next hike anyway i hope this has been useful i know it's been a short one today i feel like i may be one of the first hiking youtubers to admit that i actually do get bored on these hikes so please don't absolutely crucify me down in the comments <laughs> feel free to check out my other advice videos they'll be popping up on screen now and also check out the back catalog of hiking films that I've made there's like 25 plus now it's crazy please like the video if you got something out of it drop a comment down below let me know what your best hiking distraction is and if you're new here then subscribe the recent canal video that we made absolutely banged and got like 600 new people here so welcome to everyone who's new here we'll talk to you very very soon all the best warm regards yours truly Dave cheers guys